It's not the way you want to come here and lose a ball game, I can tell you that. Certainly not doing it that way. Um, one of those games where you just look back and you kind of reflect on the first quarter and you saw some missed opportunities and, and let that game start really fast for them offensively and really slow for us offensively. And then we kind of settle in and, uh, you know, from the second quarter on, our defense played well. Uh, we started making plays offensively, and we always felt like we were, we were in the football game from that point on. We, we made some bonehead decisions. I mean, when I say decisions uh, in the first quarter that, uh, and, you know, just, just some things I couldn't, couldn't really put my, my finger on. Oh, but, man, what, what an effort by a great group of Gamecocks that nobody gave a shot and a man sitting in this room, maybe a, maybe a couple, maybe a couple, to give us a chance to come here and pull out the victory. But our football team did. Our football team believed. Our football team was getting better. Our football team was hurting just like it did last week. And, Oh, it's a tough situation when you go and you do exactly what you want to do and you work as hard as you can work and you lay it all out in line and it comes right down, you know, and that last play certainly didn't, didn't win or lose the ball game for us, but, uh, you know, it just kind of kind of rips you, kind of rips you, and that's what sport's about. When you love something that much, it, it, it should hurt. It should hurt. But, uh, We've got a Florida Gator team coming into our place. We've got a team that believes in one another, that hurts for one another right now. We've got a coaching staff that believes in one another. they got an interim head coach that couldn't be more proud of the football team. And we're going to move on, and we're going to continue to improve, and we're going to make the most of it. The ball's going to bounce our way, and we're going to have to make it, but we're going to, we're going to get it done. Sean, looking at the offense in the first quarter, you mentioned bonehead decisions. Just what were some of those in the first quarter that were kind of stalling you guys out? Oh, man. I mean, uh, you call pass protection and we're handing the football off. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, it, it, I'm not really sure what the communication error was uh, on some of those things. Um, I mean, we, you know, we went to a uh, three back package with. Uh, Jonathan Walton, and uh, I think he had a wide open, it was a fourth down play, a wide open uh, walk on the situation. I mean, he probably would have walked in the end zone and don't make a play there. Uh, j just some things that uh, unc uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically uh, was happening. And I don't know if they were just, uh, you can't, you're not too hot, you're not too ready to go out and play. Just, uh, you know, the focus uh, should have been better. Talk about the decision to uh, punt the ball away about three minutes to go. You have to get a fourth and twelve. Rather than going for it there around midfield, it was a perfect call. We punted it. We got the ball back. We did exactly what we needed to do. We drove it right down the field. We did exactly what we wanted to do. It was the right decision. That's the way it turned out. What do you have to say to Jarrell afterwards? Oh man, what do you what, what do you say to a guy who lays it on the line? To lay it on the line. You tell them, and the guy's, the guy's sitting there in tears, you know, because it hurt him so bad. You just tell him you love him. You pick him up. You pick him up, and, uh, and you move forward. Shoot, that's why I grabbed him. I said, you're going with me. We're going down here to see him. You know? I mean, <laughs> that's all you can do. I, I don't I don't follow He was trying to make a play. He was trying to win the game, and that's what I wanted us to do. Sean, second straight game, the offense has been right there with a chance to tie or a chance to win. Hadn't gotten it done. I mean, do you say those same things to those guys coming next week that it is going to bounce your way sooner or later? I'm, I'm sorry, it is going to what? Bounce your way sooner or later so that the offense can't, will be able yeah, to but, get it Yeah, we're, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. You talked about your team settling in in the second quarter. Uh, after uh, initially starting off slow, you said their offense started quickly as and uh, yours not so much. Talk about the adjustments made early in that second quarter. Just settling down. Uh, I started telling Coach Oak, uh, we needed a pressure. We needed to move. 
We need to disrupt some things. We need to make some stuff happen. And, and then offensively, all we had to do was just continue with, uh, with wise decisions that we didn't make in the first quarter. Wise decisions. And, uh, and we were going to be fine. <laughs> we went in the halftime. What was it, 17 to 3? They went and we didn't bat an eye. And you know, somebody talked about uh, pressure and come out of the second half, that was a depression. Us. It, had no, it had nothing to do. They're, they're a well coached, very good football team. But at no point did I think our football team was outmatched. Can you talk about the performance you uh, thought about your uh, quarterback, Perry Worth, tonight? Gutsy. Perry could have done some better things early on in the football contest. I don't fault a guy. Hey, we all make mistakes. We, we make we make good calls, make bad calls, make great throws, make good runs, make bad throws. Uh, he lays it on the line, day in and day out, play after play, play after play. This is a guy that nobody thinks should be playing for our football team. But he's a great leader for us, and our, our players believe in him. I believe in him. Our coaching staff. I think, he did, I think he did a good job. He put us in a position to win. Sean, you said earlier in the week that you had a lot of uh, design for Lorenzo. Didn't really get out on the field that much. Was it just something Tennessee was doing that made you scale back? Or? No. Uh, one, of the, one of the bonehead mistakes, we, we, we called a pass protection play and we handed the ball off on a protection. I, I don't really understand it. I, I couldn't understand it. He said he didn't get the uh, get bigger the, the, the pass route. Uh, so therefore, he was going to hand the football off to our running back, and uh, you know from that point forward, you've got to make a decision: is he in the game or is he out of the game? And we try to get him in there a little bit more, but uh, you know uh, you, you've got to say, okay, let, let's give ourselves a chance to win, and we weren't going to do that: hand the football off on a protection. And also, oh, Sean, the, the putting in Walton at fullback and then having that touchdown play. Just when did that kind of come to you? I know he's a running back in high school, but did you put that in this week, or had you been working on? Walked in there Monday. I said, I want to put in the three back set with Jonathan Walton. I want to see him catch the touchdown pass. And it worked out perfectly. And he should have caught the touchdown pass in the first, uh, second quarter. Should have hit him on that one for a touchdown. Uh, that's a guy that's a playmaker. We've got to get him on the field uh, defensively or offensively, but you can see more of him. Sean, was there a theme on the third down defense? Y'all's third down defense in the second half, other than they just made the plays when they needed to? They made plays. I mean, I don't know what, <laughs> and it certainly wasn't me, but I was just, you know, out there in them and with them. I, I felt like I was playing with them. I mean, I, I felt so involved with the defense, uh, and they were just making plays. They were making plays. Uh, I don't know. I do, you know, and I, our defensive coaches did a great job from uh, those first two drives moving forward. I mean, just making the correct calls, getting our players to make plays, and going out and executing. Punt with about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Was there a possible fake on there? Were y'all looking for it? Was a fake. And Sean, it was. You, you have the option to run the fake or punt the football. Okay. And uh, we had the fake, and they did a good job covering it, and we punted it. And it was a perfect call, well executed. A great job by Sean Kelly. The one thing that we didn't do was, you know, when you run the fake, you don't have the coverage that you would like. And they got about 10, probably another first down, 10 additional yards. Uh, but yeah, it was a fake. We, we were going for it. Can you give an update on the status of uh, DJ Neal? Uh, I believe DJ went uh, was taken out, but I, I believe he's back. Everything was negative. Uh, I think he's going to be okay. And Harris? Harris, uh, I believe, was a dislocated shoulder. So what, what's he up? probably done for the year? Do you know? Done. He's dislocated. It's broke off. <laughs> I mean, uh, then my first question was, put it back in. You know, <laughs> is that what we're doing? Uh, but no, I, I think there was going to be uh, you know, a further evaluation and then we'll make a decision. What's ever shot at this uh, situation? It's another academic. Uh, second time this year, what's he going to see him back again this year or what's his status right now? His status is he was suspended for this Tennessee game. Okay. Uh, he'll be back in practice tomorrow. Anything else for Coach? Sean, do you have concerns about the footing? Footing okay for everybody. You know, I did. We boy, we uh, I was out there in pregame and, and I noticed the fuel kind of tearing up. And <laughs> first thing I asked, I said, Do "We, I don't know, I'm gonna make a, 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 a different type of study clean." And I said, "We, 
I'm going to need some traction here. And um, there were several times where we had some footing issues, and I was very surprised about the, um, the field. I thought, you know, they, they're planting that ryegrass. I believe the appearance is more, um, <laughs> you know, it's hard to say the playing surface. Certainly wasn't the fault of anything, but uh, yeah, we did slip around a little bit. Can we coach go? I think we so, have a couple players here. Thank you.